Okay, we're on the Nocta Macro website. Go on to metal detectors. Select the simplex. And then we scroll down to software update. And click on download. Save as, save it to the desktop so I can find it. Okay, that's downloaded. Okay, I've saved that folder. I'm going to right click on it and select extract all. Click extract. Okay, so I've now got all the folders, the files there in a folder. It's now time to connect the detector to the laptop. Okay, I'm going to connect the the lead and connect the other end of the US lead into the USB port of the laptop as soon as you do that the battery charging icon comes up on the simplex and I'm going to double click on detect detector update setup Double click. Okay. This is a standard Windows error message. Okay, clicked on more info and then select run anyway. Okay, preparing to. The welcome to the Nocta Macro Update Tool Setup Wizard. Click select next. Select installation folder. Macro Detector Update Tool is being installed. Please wait. Okay, after the app is installed, an icon's appeared on the on the desktop, not to detect or update installation tool. I'm going to double click on that and the app will open. Okay, the software update app has opened. I have to select the simplex tab. Select the file which I'd saved on my desktop. There's the okay, there's the file. Detect device. Okay, now clicking on detect device. Now it's come up with a message saying that the connection has been established with a detector, but one of the target devices is about to be downgraded. The update version is older than that of the device. And now I'm ignoring that. As it does seem to be that this is um, actually the latest update. I'm not sure quite why that's saying that. Okay, it's now installing. It says the update is complete. Click OK. 
Right, let's have a look at the detector. Okay, let's switch the machine on. So, software version 2.67. Okay, I can see one of the features of the update is working straight away because if you notice it switched on and it switched on in park mode. Um, I'd uh, switched to park mode just to have a quick look before I started videoing again and it switched itself back on in park mode. So that seems to be working. If I move across to the frequency adjust, we've now got three options. There were five, so I guess that they've just made the, the frequency splits wider, so you don't need so many. Um, right, okay, what I'm going to do is notch a couple of segments out, then we'll um, check that they are still notched out when I switch it off, and switch it back on again. Okay, in park mode, I've notched out four little segments here. Um, I know that would be a crazy thing to do in reality, but anyway, it's just for the demonstration. Okay, right, let's switch it off. Switch it back on. It switched back on in park mode with four segments. Okay, if I was to go across to beach mode, I'm now in beach mode, switch it off. Switch it back on. Okay, it returns back to beach mode, whatever the last mode you were in. If I go back to park, those three settings, those settings are still notched out. That's a fantastic feature. It's very helpful just to be able to keep your safe settings and not have to change them from session to session. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, it's a little bit odd that it's showing that that the uh, software reports a that you're actually downgrading it. You're not actually downgrading it. It is actually an, the upgrade. So I don't quite know uh, why it says that. But anyway, it works. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.